jeans. He got the the Air Jordan hoodie, and he got the glasses. But he is playing Samus. Now, there's definitely something big about Samus, and it's the size of her buttons. Oh, no. And Pikachu, too. The Pikachu from Grudge? Those, those, did I miss something here? Why did Grudge start playing Pika? That's what I'm saying. I, I laughed about Chuck. Last time I checked, it was, uh, he was playing the princess, Princess Zelda, but he decided to switch to the, the way of the rat? Okay. I mean, Pika Pikachu is, wait, did something, oh, I don't know why I thought that might turned off. Anyway, <laughs> um, Pikachu, like, definitely has a lot of things to kind of navigate this matchup. I've seen this on the end of Mr. L and Rock, um, if you know them from, oh, you know, Long Island. I know Mr. L. Um, but yeah, for sure, it, it kind of has to be a little bit more on... Gretchen's end to not SD game one against Big. I was about to ask if that was a button check. You know, the way he walked over, kind of slow, ate a charge shot. So I'm wondering, like, maybe it was a button check, you know? But we're getting right into the action. And yeah, speaking of the action, those back air trains is looking like what we're starting off with. And honestly, this is kind of how it goes. Samus doesn't have the best of disadvantages just overall as a character, but does have some really good advantage state. So if we can definitely see Grudge start to kind of put on a lot of pressure than he is doing right now, we can definitely see him at least make this at least a little bit more even than it, you know, is right now. Yeah, one thing I want to see Grudge do is just sit back a little bit and just force Samus to try to come to him. Because Samus does not have the best, like, approaching options. And the way the match is going right now, Grudge is kind of getting outpopped seriously. And also getting outpopped. So I just maybe sit back, throw a couple of t jolts make Samus come to you. Because what, what, is, what is Samus approaching you with? Is there? Pikachu's a tiny rat. He can weave there. Look at that. Weave. I mean, absolutely. But in order for that to happen, we need to see Grudge take off this first talk. And it's looking like it's going to be a long way before that happens. Yeah, that SD right at the beginning kind of really put a dent in Gretchen's gameplay. Ooh. Ooh. That was a little bit I, weird. That was probably the third time, second or third time, that we've seen Grudge just go for a random pullback in neutral. Yeah, I need. I'm going to need to pick his brain a little bit, find out what's going on there. <laughs> uh, but there we go. Spellbed's knocking him to the sky. Grassy able to set up the key jolts. And I want to see what he's able to do with his advantage save. Not much, it seems. Not much. He's kind of getting tossed around by the Samus. He got the VIG showing him, by the way. He's uh, a little bit notorious. Look at this. Yeah, that was a very nice wait there. Just waiting for one of the options. But not going to get that wait right there. Still living at 158%. I'm just looking at just a little bit of a watch for Gretchen's Pikachu. Yeah. You know, just a tiny little bit. Not, not that <laughs> much. Just, you know, I mean, can we, can we see one stock? Can I, can I see one stock? No, can, can, we see, can we see not throw? A dash, oh. stack, a dash stack even. Yo, dash stack does kill right about it. Yo, I, I felt that back there. <laughs> Ooh. And we're not gonna see a stop. We're gonna see a stop from B.I.G., but not from uh, not from God. Uh, that was a that was a three stop. Yeah. Super hard call out coming up from the S mask. Just look at that. Look at him right looking, just moving around, moving and grooving, hitting him with the charge and dash attack, and then Gretchen said Sayonara. Oh no. Not even gonna take out one stock. Not at all. Pretty big, pretty strong opening with a three stock. Mm -hmm. There was definitely some weird things coming in from Gretch, but yeah. honestly, if he wants to stick with Pikachu, I think it's possible. But he's definitely gonna have to rely on a little bit more fundies and neutral to be able to, you know, kind of just take stocks a little bit more efficiently. Yeah, those skull bashes not really. It. That's not a. <laughs> it's not the. That's not the answer on the Scantron, man. It's Not very bad. uh unconventional to say the least. Yeah, maybe if like you can mix it up with an edge guard. I think maybe you want to like catch him like pushing a button out of shield, or it could have just been a misinput. Maybe he's trying to like input a quick attack going into that direction, and then instead got the got the skull bash. Very unfortunate for him though. But let's it see. looks like uh, we're we're going to the rat stage. Oh, Stop let's battle. go. Wait, what was the rat stage? The rat stage is Kalos. Oh, let's go, Kalos. <laughs> now, I guess we're going to stick with Pikachu going on into the second game, but we need to see a little bit more of a well-defined neutral coming in for Gretsch. You know, it, it, it wasn't the best, but let's just say it how it is. <laughs> it could be better. <laughs> the damage was piling up, but he was not... He won neutral a few bits in the beginning, but every other hit he got was like kind of just in the scramble situation. Like something I actually surprised I didn't see at all. Most of the could have got his grubby little paws on him Pikachu. and got this nair drag down combo. Then also big damage, you know, Pikachu's uh, love to just showcase in the combo videos. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of thing about, you know, this matchup. 
Pikachu just holds advantage for so long sometimes, but again, with the syndrome as many other characters, Pikachu just can't kill sometimes. It requires a little bit of, you know, very well-planned neutral interactions to actually get those kills. Yes, he does. I have it. There we go. Actually starting it off, uh, landing him off stage. Can he keep him there? No, it's a third. Surprised I didn't see it grab there, but you know, still able to maintain some some sort of safe positioning. All right, already a lot better than the last game. He still has his first stock. Ooh, but he's still eating charge shots for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ooh, and almost ate that up smash, but just barely falling out of it. Very lucky that Samus is bad. In some cases. <laughs> <laughs> Her moves don't work still. Oh, oh, by her moves, I mean just up smash. They're gonna move to Samus has got the super juice. Oh, but that's gonna be huge. Ooh. I like that. I, lo I love seeing good item good item conversions like that. Even if it's the simple stuff like, uh, you know, the bomb to the back air. Beautiful. Absolutely. I feel like Gretch might need to have a little bit more uh, usage of grab. That'd probably be nice to be able to take you know, out a lot of these socks. I was saying a little bit before, you know, up throw could kill. Um, not at this percent, but definitely um, you have, I think, maybe like down throw into um, down so, reverse. Uh, I think you know, like, be, I don't yeah, know. reverse down beat, but it's, it, it, that's also super DI dependent. Mm -hmm. You see, like, right there, you couldn't have got, you actually could have just done just like regular, just like thunder, because he went straight up. No DI in that at all. Mm -hmm. um, but that, See what Gretchen's doing right there? Just standing back on the T jolt. That's what he needs to do a lot more. He needs to be just like more content with the stand back and let the T jolt work his nine to five for him. Mm, Look at that's that. What you need. And that was actually really nice. That's probably the third time that we've seen, you know, Gretchen um and use up till it's kind of like an anti air for um big. Yeah. Oh no. So another duff to the face will take him out. Uh, Grant on his last dog needs to find a way to make this happen. And the Pikachu does have a strong advantage shape, but how long will it last for the character like Samus, who was able to just navigate this advantage so easy with the down beat? Oh, geez. That up tilt sounds like it hurt. Okay, we're seeing a lot. I have wonderful pair, but we got to get something out of it. Ooh, the up smash. Ooh. Hanging well, on to the ledge a bit too long there, buddy. And then in a really bad position right there for Big, and now we're one stock of these. Definitely a little bit more even than the first game, but only 88% on Gretsch right here. Yeah, not a lot. I mean, one Pikachu combo can, like, you know, throw him a disadvantage and bring it all back. But even if he throws him a disadvantage, I don't know. I don't think it'll be that big of a, a, a W for Gretsch. Because he hasn't been doing much with his advantage state. Every, everything, every hit he's got has kind of just been like him winning neutral. Absolutely, and just taking, you know, all the damage that he can get. And speaking of all the damage that he can get, 50 Cent is not looking like too much, but this can definitely put him in a very good position if he could get a grab just like that right there. Jeez. And put on maybe a little bit percent Ooh. and trying to take it all with that up smash, but I don't know. Ooh, what a down smash. Odd call out coming out the call out the shield drop. That's what I'm saying, man. Stay back with the cheese off working nine to five. You the boss. Oh, these wow. are your associates. I'm trying to keep big. Yeah, geez, he stays going for these uh, jab mix ups. Trying to force like some kind of odd defensive option to come out. Oh, oh no. You hate to see it. We do. And honestly, speaking of those mix-ups that we were seeing from Big, I feel like the little bit of the issue too was that he doesn't have a little bit enough of the information to kind of get those reads that he needs, you know, correctly. Because we did see there was probably two times where he did try to read an up smash from ledge, didn't get it, especially, you know, considering how it was actually in the um, not positioned correctly. That's why he didn't get it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I feel like it was more just, you know, even though he did win, I feel like situations like those can definitely be improved, um, be improved upon. Absolutely. So it's kind of just like, I guess it's like the basic condition. Like he wasn't really, as you're saying, he wasn't really scared. Gretz was like, throughout the whole match, it did not feel like an ounce of fear coming from Gretz at all. A lot of it was just like, what does Pikachu do in this match? If I think he's trying to figure it out as he goes along. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Also and need to figure out that recovery because that was very unfortunate right at the end.